Tonight is last night in prison for a California man wrongly convicted of murder. 73 year old Jack Sagan spent the last three decades behind bars and will finally get his freedom. News 8's Richard Allen is live at Donovan State Prison where authorities will release Sagan tomorrow morning. Richard. And Brandon, this has been a hard fought legal fight led by the Northern California Innocence Project for nearly the last two decades, all to secure the freedom of now 73 year old Jack Sagan. Now he served more than 33 years in prison as a convicted murderer. But thanks to DNA evidence, his conviction was finally overturned. And just this afternoon, prosecutors agreed to dismiss all charges. We've been waiting a long time. Jack has been waiting a long time um, for his freedom. So just to, to see him walk out the doors as a free man is going to be amazing tomorrow. In July 1985, Monterey resident Paula DeRocher was found murdered in her apartment. DNA evidence was collected at the scene, including underneath the victim's fingernails. Months later, Jack Sagan, who did not know DeRocher, was arrested and convicted on unrelated burglary charges. Later that year, two fellow in Mates turned informant, claiming to police that Sagan had confessed to DeRocher's murder. In 1985, 86, they weren't doing DNA testing on this evidence. Um, so really what the jury heard was the testimony of these jailhouse informants, and that was what convicted him. Lori Stone of the Northern California Innocence Project says Sagan's is one of the longest running cases they've worked on beginning back in 2002. His appeals were denied after denial after denial and we were persistent and we kept pushing forward. Finally, the courts allowed the DNA evidence collected at the scene, which traced back to five different individuals to be tested. All of those profiles did not match Jack Sagan. Thursday, the Monterey County District Attorney dismissed all all charges against Sagan, agreeing not to retry the case, meaning that Jack Sagan, after 33 years behind bars, will be celebrating his 74th birthday next Tuesday as a free man. He's over the moon. He's so happy. Um, obviously very nervous and afraid of what to expect and, and what's coming next for him. And among those waiting for Jack Sagan once he's released here from here from Donovan State Prison tomorrow morning will be his sister. We understand that Sagan will be living with his sister at her home in Arizona where he is looking forward to playing his guitar in the front porch as well as taking long walks. Brandon. Sure, they'll be even more special after tomorrow.